everybody. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, anyways, hello, and I want to thank you all for being here. So, yes. All right. And so, it's uh, the 300. So, all right. Uh, give me a minute here. Uh, I am going to uh, start sharing this, and yes. So, yeah. All right. Um, share now. All right. So, group. There we go. Um, hmm. Metallica. Do, 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 do. All right. Well, we'll switch back here. So, anyways. Um, hmm. All right. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. Bam. Oh, yeah, everybody. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome to Big Jim Blogcast Live. Um, version 6.0, as you might have guessed, episode 300, right on. So, anyways, uh, stuff. Uh, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 6.0, um, episode 300. It's Monday, September 2nd, 2024. It's the end of a long weekend, the last long weekend of summer. Summer's like, you've got 20 more days of summer left. Re relax. So, anyways, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, where do I share this? Uh, do, 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 there we go, send. Uh, all right, so, yeah. Um, there we are, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, messenger, uh, stone picker, stone picker. Stone picker. All right, well, uh, no, done. There we are. So, anyways. There. So, anyways, yeah, 300. Um, all right. So, yeah, welcome to Big Jim's Blogcast Live version 6.0, episode 300, Monday, September 2nd, 2024. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah, woo, 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 number 300. So, never thought I'd get to, to that. So, anyways, if you're here, say hello. Yeah, the blogcast page. Thanks, Michelle. You guys rock. I was, we were like, uh, I was tuning into your like uh, your your auction, right on. So, anyways, uh, let's get going. So, all right. So, welcome to Big Jim Blogcast Live uh, version 6.0 episode 300. Uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live uh, airs Sunday nights on Facebook. Um, and the occasional Fridays and 1 o'clock Wednesdays. We're now in our sixth year as Big Jim Blogcast Live debuted back in 2018. Uh, this year we have more craft beer reviews. We've done, I personally, like, I think I've done over, like, 250 craft beers. So, um, and, yeah, we copied, we paired that. Like, Gwen, how are you? Uh, we copy that with, like, uh, um, a good c cigar, spirit rum. Um, whiskey tonight is like um, this beer is called Hot Farmer it's a mango habanero ale I'm trying it for the very first time tonight it's by the Stone Picker Brewing Company in Forest, Wyoming so alright that's followed up by Crown Royal Vanilla um, so and we got a good cigar here it is a uh, Guantanamera cigar from Riverfront Cigars. All right, I'll. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, anyways, um, yeah. So we do. We've, I've done probably over 250 craft beer reviews, um, paired with a good cigar, spirit, rum, whiskey for. Now for 2024, retro, vintage, classic, nostalgia, yesteryear, the buzzwords here. We do classic movies, classic rock, classic uh, toys, classic pro wrestling, uh, classic albums, um, along with This Week in Van Halen History, uh, and along with local events, bongos, countdowns, boom. All right. Um, it uh let's see here your story all right there we are share all right there we are okay so uh yeah uh we give birthday shout outs to all of our friends 
And my sidekick, Cactus Jack, here, he's like, he's going to be here tonight. All right. Well, there we go. Um, it, uh, the broadcast, almost seen in the U.S. and Canada, is now seen worldwide in the U.K., Mexico, France, Spain, Germany, etc. Thanks for, you for watching. Tune in and turn on and enjoy the show. Politics and religion are banned here. We aren't spam. Okay, so I will reiterate this so several more times tonight. Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version will go out later um, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. I want to give shouts out for you watching in the uh, Sarnia Port Elgin groups, especially Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Sporting Sarnia 2.0. All the pop culture, retro, classic, vintage, nostalgia, yesteryears. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all the Van Halen hard rock, hair metal, classic rock groups, all the craft beer, cigars, sci fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, blog, spot, classic TV, movies, movies, birthdays, bongos, Rubik's. Um, where is my Rubik's Cube? Yeah, there we are. There it is. Uh, tonight I'm going to go color on the focus. Focus on the color. We'll go with white. All right. So, all right. Bang. Okay. So, all right. So, now I'm going to post a disclaimer here. I may say a few bad, dirty words like shit, damn, screw, fuck. Uh, that that'll they'll slip out. So what you, what you have to do is grab a box of Kleenex, go to your safe space, and um, cover your ears. And so, anyways, all right. So, what do we got on tap for tonight? Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, there we go. That's our cigar. Um, it uh, plus, I'll get to my craft beer in a minute. We're gonna do some birthday shout outs, countdowns, local events. Uh, we'll talk about our. Uh, mm. Our, uh, we'll do the uh, top 10 classic movies, top 10 like TV, top 10 Star Wars sci fi side characters, uh, the best of uh, WCW, WWE, WNWA, AWA, uh, best of uh, classic Bond villain and, and Bond girls, classic albums, bands, uh, our, my top, my four favorite board games, which I've blogged about. Uh, and this week in Van Halen history. Plus, we'll, uh, um, I've got nine classic craft beer, um, classic craft beers from the past. They're making an appearance tonight, my most utmost favorites, plus an honorable mention. So yeah, let's get going, bam, all right. All right, boom, okay. Bongo solo there, and I've got like the bullhorn here. All right. Hello, everybody. Okay, well, we'll just turn that off. So, anyways, yeah. Um, it, uh, all right, so we get to our, like, uh, mm, where's my cigar? There it is. Mm, mm. <coughs> That's Iguana and Terra, Havana, Cuba. So, Maybe I'll do some more uh, sharing here. Uh, all right. Okay. Honest craft beer review. There we go. Blogging and blogging. There we go. Um, classic TV game shows we all love. Um, S Star Wars fans. Um, okay. No, not that. Uh, pop culture, the group. All right. So we're done with that. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, uh, boom, bam. Yes, it's 300. All right. Okay. So, yeah, you might have noticed we had 300. So, anyways, um, <laughs> thanks everybody for the uh, 300 wishes. Um, all right. So, tonight, my craft beer for tonight it is called Hot Farmer. It is a mango jalapeno ale. And if somebody could share this blogcast with, like, Stone Picker Brewing Company, that'd be great. Maybe I'll write them in right now. All right. Mm. Wait. Yes, yeah, Stone Picker Brewing Company. There we are. All right. So, 
Okay. So there we are. All right, they know now. So how I do these things... Um, now, my, I'll tell you about my beer rating system here. As I'm trying this beer for the very first time tonight. So we've got like uh, 10, to, 10 to 1. So 10 being outstanding, awesome, excellent, very good, of average. We want the beer to land up here. We don't want it to land down here. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, average, below average, not very good, terrible, awful. I don't think I've ever given a... Um, um, a bad. I, I don't think I've ever given a, given a beer below five. So, um, anyways, here we go. But also, and yeah, uh, I do give it a rating out of ten later on in the blogcast. So if you're still here and sticking around, you want to throw out a number like so many people have done. What am I going to give it? Two, eight, six, seven, five. Well, you just have to stick around and find out. So, anyways, and one more thing. So, before we get going here, uh, this is called the Growler. It is like a, um, uh, up to date, it is vo volume six, issue one. It's uh, all the up to date info on all the craft breweries in like uh, Ontario. Uh, you can find this at your like uh, um, local LCBO or local craft brewery for just three bucks a pop. Pick it up. All right. So, it's going to be a handy. If you ever want to go out on a craft brewery tour, it's going to get handy there. So, bam. All right. And when I do these craft brewery, craft, craft beer, beer reviews, I don't go, well, it's a very interesting tasting highbrow. No, no, you know what? I just, I go with my gut and what's in here. So, as we so, so, here we go. Mango Habanero Ale. And I've got their glass. So if you're, I've tagged you guys. So Stone Picker Brewing Company. All right. Smells normal. Okay. I'm expecting, I don't know what I'm expecting. So there we go. Pour that. All right. I brought back up. So, all right. So here we go. Uh, let's see. I'm trying this for the very first time tonight. Why don't we just let that uh, settle down here? I will take a snort of like... Uh, Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. Mm. All right. So, okay. Like I said, I did bring back up. Mm. 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 <coughs> there we go. All right. So, all right. I'm trying it for the very first time tonight. Mm. One word that comes to mind, sting. Mmm. It's got a sting to it. Mmm. Okay. It is called Hot Farmer. It's a mango habanero ale. Oh. Oh, yeah. There's a there's a definite bam to it. Oh. Oh. Mmm. For a cold beer, it's got a one hot punch to it. Bam. Oh, you... Ah. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. That's sticking with me for the rest of the blogcast. Um, cold beer? Habanero is hot, I know. And so, mmm. Mmm. All right. Well, that's, this is, this beer's certainly going to be an adventure tonight. Wow. Holy cow. What? Wow. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Well, okay, as we sit this back here. I think I will take another. Mm, mm. I think I'm going to rely on that Crown Royal Vanilla tonight. Holy fuck! All right. So yeah. Mm, mm. <coughs> All right. So boom. Mm. All right. Amy Mango. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, messenger. Maybe who can I send this to? Uh, all right. Uh, there we go. Mmm, all right, there, there, there. Mmm, all right. Mmm, all right, so, there. All right, so there we go. All right, oh, yeah. So I sent the, I sent it a few more places. Um, um, okay, so basically, Hot Farmer Mango Habanero Ale is tonight's beer from Stone Picker Brewing Company out in Forest, Wyoming. 
Um, mm, trying this beer for the very first time tonight, and wow, does it sit in your stomach. Holy. Mm. If you guys like spicy things out there, if anybody likes their stomach getting beaten up by, by you know, habanero, this beer's for you. All right. But, yeah, I'll be fair. I'll be fair. It, it's it's innovative. The stone picker is innovative. Yeah. All right. So I'll just put this back here for now. Um, all right. So, yeah. Mm. All right. And before we get going with, like, uh, birthday shout-outs. Mm. Mm. <coughs> the cigar and the <coughs> Crown Royal Vanilla really help, really help. So, Amy, I see you're watching. Amy, welcome. Big Jim Blogcast Live, uh, version 6.0, episode 300. Um, it, uh, yeah. So, anyways, why I tell you, get like, uh, all right. So we'll get this out of the way. The hotline. If you want to call me up on your uh, rotary phone or your cell and say 1-800-867-5309, if told free to call, say, hey, Jim, how's that beer treating you? Uh, it's not beating you up. Uh, we love the congratulations on 300. Right on. So, all right. Um, yeah. And so, mm, what else? Our, oh, yes. And tonight, um, for the first of many tries... Um, I've got a Rubik's Cube here, and I'm going to do the color white. I'm going to take it out of its Big Jim Blogcast Live coffee mug. So, this is the first of four tries tonight. I'm going to try and get the white, all white, in a couple of turns. Bam! Here we go. All right. Uh, all right. This is confusing as hell, but I'm going to do it. All right. There we are. Okay. Uh, all right. So, come on. Mm, there we are. Uh... Mm. Okay, so that. All right. Uh, well, there you go. I've got that. So, mm. Mm. all right. So, anyways, got to shake the screen a little. Yeah, there we are. There we are. So, I'm going to put it back. And it's big. This is the first of four try tries tonight. So, anyways. And yeah, it, we are at 300. If you hadn't noticed, back to me. Um, it's uh, episode 300 tonight. Never thought I'd get here. But you know what? Perseverance. All right. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. And uh, tonight's craft beer accompanied by a good cigar. Um, Guana and Terra Romera, Habana. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Mm. Okay, so do, do, do. all right, so mm. 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 shortcuts. Mm. No, I don't. Mm. All right, so yeah, tonight's beer accompanied by that cigar and Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, mm. 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 it is called. Hot Farmer, and it's Mango Habanero Ale, so, um, and 5.5% alcohol volume, mm. Mm. <laughs> it's got to grow on me all through the blogcast, so I'm going to, oh yeah, <laughs> it's definitely like going around with Mike Tyson in your stomach, so, um, if you're still here sticking around and you want to throw out a number, feel free to, you know, if it matches up with mine. Mm. Mm. Kabamo. All right. Mm. Yeah. All right. So we, we will get some birthday shout-outs here um, from this past week and weekend. All right. So anyways. All right. So we got that. We are going to, um, later on, uh, before I rate the beer, I'll... Uh, present my top nine classic craft beers from the past. I haven't forgotten. So, anyways, here, here we go. So, all right. So, anyways, do your thing, boys. All right. From August 26th to September 2nd, uh, we've got Vicky Ann Galvez, Brina Johnstone, Terry Peaver, Adelka Mulkin, Troy Milton, Sherry Darcy, Brett Bridges, George A. Luis Perona, 
Lauren Drury, uh, Rhonda Foster, Courtney Campbell, Ryan Royce, Tanya Marie, Brundy, Bruce Underhill, uh, Allison Rasheen Patrick, Travis Chapel, Jen Demore, Tara Lee, and today, Labor Day Monday, Jeff Smith and Rosella Carr. So happy birthday, everybody, from Big Jim's Blogcast Live. So, and yeah. All right. So, all right. So happy birthday, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed your birthdays. So there we go. All right. And he does talk. So, hmm. All right. Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 6.0, episode 300. Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 6.0, episode 300. All right. So we shut him up for now. All right. So anyways, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Boom. Mm. Bongo Solo's there, for those who wanted it. All right. Uh group let's see all right let's see mm. all right bam post there uh, post there um, <laughs> wrestling rocks there we go all right so mm. Mm, okay so we're done that like I mean all right so anyways this is big ship blogcast live version 6.0 Episode 300, Monday, September 2nd, 2024. It's a, the last Canadian long weekend of the summer. So, yeah, uh, and welcome. So as we go down some countdowns now. Um, all right, Grandparents' Day is only six days away. Uh, Halloween is 59 days away. Fall is only 20 days away. Christmas is 114 days away. Remembrance Day is 70 days away. And for all you people who've been complaining about this weather, you better learn to love it because winter is 110 days away. Yes, it is. So, that would. All right. Mm. Okay. So. Oh wow, that that beer that that's got a strong that's a strong aftertaste to it, dude. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right, hello, Jadman. Uh, glad to see you decided to join us tonight. So yeah. Mm. All right. So whew. okay, so we're gonna get in some like uh, local events here. Um, but anyway, before we do that. I want you guys to know that you can call toll free 1 800 8675309 on uh, the Big Jim Blogcast Live hotline on your uh, rotary phone or your cell. Hey, Jim, congratulations on 300. And how's that craft beer doing? So there we go 1 800 8675309. It is free to call. And so, all right. So, anyways, um, mm, okay. So, as we get in some local events here, mm, Mm. <coughs> All right. Oh, we got a good cigar going. Guan Guanatana Mara. Uh, you know those good cigars from Riverfront Cigars right here in Sarnia. Mm. All right. Big Jim Blogcast Live. <laughs> Happy 300. All right. So, okay. So here we go. Um, Sunday, October 13th, 2024, 9 a.m. is the Thanksgiving Artisan Market in the Pinery Grand Bend, and it's free. Friday, November 1st, 7.30 p.m., me and Ron James performs live at the Imperial Theater Sarnia, tixhub.com. Block Party 2024, September 6th, 6 p.m. to September 7th, 11.30 p.m., Suncor Agora, Centennial Park. The bands uh, for Friday we're gonna, will be the Saints and a Million Ghosts, Saturday, the action figures. Um, tickets, revelry.com. Cheese and Bacon Fest, uh, Sunday, September 22nd. Mm. September 20, 2024, 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. 101 6th Street, Lakeshore Road, Grand Bend, Ontario. Uh, Friday, September 13th, 9 p.m. is the one-man band, Bren. Uh, performs at Point Brewing in Point Edward, the Point. 
another great brewery that's been in the point for like a couple of years now. Um, Petrolia Legion Tattoo Festival. No, wait a minute. Saturday, September 21st, 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. is the Corona Street Festival, 197 Hill Street, Corona, hosted by Pet Value. That's free. Um, mm, Petrolia Legion Tattoo Festival, 2024, December 14th, 9 a.m. to December 15th, 5 p.m., 4129 Clementon Road, Petrolia. It's free admission. Uh, a lot of tattoo artists there, uh, piercings, whatever, what have you. Sunday, September 15th, 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. is the Ice Cream Festival at the Pinery Market. Uh, every type of ice cream, over 200 vendors, live music and more. It's $2 per person. Witches Walk, Wednesday, October 30th, 2024, 7 p.m. downtown Strathroy Market. And that's all for like local events there. Boom. Bongo solos there. All right, so... Mm, mm. <coughs> All right, our craft beer tonight, accompanied by Guantanamo Marna Habanero cigar, uh, everything Cuban. Holy shit, Habana Cuba cigar. Um, accompanied our craft beer tonight is Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, mm. All right, mm. so yeah, it is Hot Farmer is a all right if you can see that mango habanero ale so and i'm trying it for the very first time tonight it is by stone picker brewing company in forest wyoming they're a lot out of the way but they're they're worth the drive so the the owners are real nice people uh, i was out there a couple of days ago uh talking them up about like the 300th broadcast so i i assume they're watching so i'm trying this beer for the very first time tonight mm, mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. All right. Every time I do try it, it gives my stomach a punch. And luckily, I like, I, I do like spicy stuff. So, and this beer does have a, have a punchy aftertaste to it, too. So, um, it's different. So, for any of you who like spicy beer, whether this is a spring, summer, or fall beer, uh, I'll let you know. But this definitely would go good with, like, Mexican food. So, mm. 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 Yeah, so we'll put this back here for now. I did bring back up, so all right. So, anyways, we get into it. Um, I'm going to reiterate tonight for like uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. Um, like us, share, subscribe to us. Uh, the audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms. Roost your podcast too. Plus. My own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. Want to give shouts out to be watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin group, especially Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Michelle had her like uh, auction earlier today, went over with a success. Uh, Supported Sarnia 2.0, Chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro, vintage, nostalgia, yesteryear groups, all the classic rock, hair metal, hard rock, Van Halen groups, all the craft beer, cigars, sci fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling. Blog, spot, classic TV, uh, TV and movies, birthdays, bongos, Rubik's, um, yeah. So um, let's see if I can group. There we go. Let's see. So, mm, all right, there we are. Post. Uh, do, do, do. Okay. So, mm, all right. The birthday group. Bam. All right. So. Mm, all right. So, anyways, yeah. The heat is getting better. <laughs> yeah, I know, Gwen. So, <clears throat> mm. all right. Done. All right. So, mm. so, anyways, yeah. The heat is getting better. Can you tell the. I'm, 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 I think I'm getting red. Holy fuck. Um, but, yeah. Uh, all right, so we've got, like I said, it's a best of uh, top tens tonight um, on our 300th, 300th broadcast. So I never thought I'd get here. I want to thank everybody for, for sticking in there the past five, five and a half years. 
So, anyways, yeah. So, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 6.0, episode 300, Monday, September 2nd, 2024. We're on the, uh, the eve, or on the eve of the last Canadian long weekend of the summer. And so, um, yeah. So, here we go with our, like, uh, we've got our classic movies going on here. And so, anywho, um, we got a bunch of, like, uh, classic movies here I want to show you uh, in no particular order um, alright so let me get this like uh, going here alright boom um, so alright so we've got Star Crash uh, I did like uh, I'm watching it right now and uh, I did this on episode 265 of course it was made in the late 70s and, of course, they have laser swords and everything. Does this remi it reminded me of a particular movie? Star Wars. So, yeah. All right. So, okay. So, yeah. Um, and then, uh, let's see here. Okay. So, all right. And we've also got Eddie Macon's run. This was... Uh, Mm, episode 109 back on February 9th, 2020. It's uh, John Schneider's uh, first uh, full-length movie. It kind of tanked at the box office, but it was a good movie. I think there was his, he was doing this when he was in the third or fourth season of uh, of of the Dukes of Hazard. So, yeah, there we go. We'll just put that right back down there. All right, so... Mm, um... That might be handy. So, and we've got, like, uh, here's another movie. Kingdom of the Spiders. Uh, back in episode 286. Um, this one's <laughs> with William Shatner. And uh, I think, like, uh, it was one of those set cult classic late, uh, late 70s movies. It was before Shat, the Shat made, like, uh, Star Trek The Motion Picture. Um, so bunch of like fake like a million fake spiders in it half of them were real and so all right and i will and we've got a shat double feature here the kidnapping of the president um and he stars as a cia agent or no a, a, a secret service agent in charge of guarding the president um i've got the pictures here so there we go um all right so Oh, yeah, and you got to love this. If anybody in the 70s remembers this movie, it's called It's Alive. I did this on episode 212. Um, basically, there's only one thing wrong with the Davis baby. It's alive. And so, um, it, uh, the baby runs amok. The baby is born deformed. There we go. I think I've got, I'll show you guys pictures of it. So, it's a cult classic. This one is Corvette Summer. This was a cool, this is the all-time cool movie of, uh, of Big Jim Blogcast Live. I did this back in episode 255. It's got Mark Hamill. He did this, I think, a year after Star Wars. Um, finds a Corvette uh, in, a, in a junkyard, refurbishes it, it gets stolen, follows it all the way to, like, Las Vegas. But if you ever have a chance to pick this movie up, pick it up. It's a cool, classic movie. So, all right. And, oh, my God. This one, too. Steve McQueen, Bullet. I did this ep episode 2018. Anybody, If anybody likes Steve McQueen out there, this is the movie for you. It's a good movie. Uh, car chase scenes in it are, like, badass. So, all right. Um, oh, yeah. And this movie, too. Damnation Alley. So, this came out... This was episode 285, starred Jan Michael Vincent and George Pappard. George Pappard before the A-Team, Jan Michael Vincent before, like, uh, um, before Airwolf. Um, and this came out at the same time as Star Wars. Now, they were both on 20th Century Fox. 20th Century Fox thought this movie would be, like, uh, the big hit of the year. So, they both came out in 1977. But yeah, the Landmaster, pretty cool. If you see this movie anywhere, pick it up. It's a good cult classic movie. So, um, Popeye. All right, 
This is Robin Williams. I did this on episode 288. Robin Williams and Shelley Duvall, the live action version of Popeye. So, and it's pretty good. So you can pick that up too. Um, and also, all right, so I got these here. There's William Shatner, kidnapping of the president. Um, all right, so. Mm, the Landmaster from Damnation Alley. Um, the, the car from Corvette Summer. All right. Um, mm, mm, mm. More of the chat as the Secret Service agent. Mm. Mm, okay. More of the chat again, discovering the spiders. Um, yeah, let's see here. Steve McQueen and Bullet. There we go. All right. Um, there we go with like Star Crash, David Hasselhoff, Before Kit, Knight Rider, and Baywatch. All right. Um, more of like uh, Damnation Alley. Um, and what else here? Oh, yeah, the baby from It's Alive. There we go. So, all right. And a scene from Star Crash. So, anyways, yeah, there. So, all right. And our last movie, um, it's Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park. Now, I did this on episode 257, and I watched it. You really have to be a huge diehard Kiss fan to sit through this movie. Whoa, bam! <laughs> oh my god, what were you fucking thinking making this movie? I think there was a lot of like, yeah, all right, let's do this. All right, okay. But, I mean, like I said, you've got to really be a huge Kiss, diehard Kiss fan to enjoy this movie. This was like, just, uh, you'd have to see it to, be, it has to be seen to be believed. So, there we go. All right, and here's like, uh, here's one more, here's like a, a still from the movie, a picture from the movie. So, you know, there we go. All right, so, mm, ah, I'm, mm, all right, so we'll take that, okay, so, all right, mm, okay, bam, mm. all right, mm, our craft beer tonight accompanied by, like, a good cigar, mm, mm, mm. All right. Mm. Mm. All right. <coughs> All right. Our craft beer tonight, accompanied by like uh, a Guanatamara Habana cigar. Um, we've got uh, uh, Crown Royal Vanilla with it. So, all right, so, it is called Hot Farmer. It's a mango habanero ale, and they're by the Stone Picker Brewing Company in Forest, like, Forest, Wyoming. So, and I'm trying it for the very first time tonight. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Okay, it's got to grow, it, it's growing on me. All through, it's, it's got to grow on me all through the blog cast. I do give this a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast. So, if you're still here and sticking around feel free to throw it a number. Um, it, uh, right now, this is definitely a summer beer. <laughs> okay. I did bring backup. Uh, I will top it up. Um, I think I will top it up here. So, um, mm. all right. So, a little shaky there. So, there we go. Oh, yeah. All right. There we go. Wait for that foam. Ooh, look at that. All right. So there's their glass. Look at how thickness that is. Um, mm, I'll wait for it. Mm. All right. Ah, I'll set this back here. Um, yeah. So, Hot Farmer Mango Habanero Ale. 
you can't, um, hmm. So whether it's a good spring, summer, or fall beer, like right now, I think it's a good summer beer. Um, eh, hmm. I don't know whether it's a good beach beer, barbecue beer, back deck beer, bar, uh, like, you know, watching uh, like a hockey beer or a baseball beer. Um, hmm. That kick stays with you. It's got a strong, it does have the aftertaste to it. But, um, yeah, uh, I, I'll set this back here, and here we go. All right. Mm. Oh, where are you? There you are. Mm. 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 <coughs> Greg, welcome. Oh, it's a good revenge beer. Yeah, yeah, good revenge beer. Greg, welcome to Big Jim's Blogcast Live, version 6.0, episode 300. So, yes, as you might have noticed, 300. So, mm, all right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, it will get to that. That. Um, all right. So, all right. So, anyways, if you want to call me up on the, the hotline, 1 800 867 5309, on your uh, rotary phone or your cell, hey, how's that beer? Congratulations on the 300. It's free to call, 1 800 867 5309. So, and all right. So I want to say, reiterate that Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. Um, mm, all right. So yeah. Mm. Um, it uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms. Release your podcast too. Plus. My own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. I want to give shouts out to you watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, Sarnia Rocks. Um, Michelle, you guys rock, supporting Sarnia 2.0, uh, Chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro classic, vintage nostalgia, yesteryear groups, all the classic rock, hair metal, hard rock, Van Halen groups, all the craft beer, cigars, sci fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, blog spot, blog groups. All the classic TV and movies, birthdays, bongos, Rubik's, right on. Bam. Mm. All right. So, mm. 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 okay. So, what can we do? All right. So, anyways, we've got our classic. Uh, mm. Mm. As we move on, we've got our classic top ten TV uh, in no particular order. Classic canceled TV shows. All right. So, again, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 6.0, episode 300, Monday, September 2nd, 2024. Thank you for uh, sticking with me. Um, so, anyways, these shows, like, I I remember, like, I'm a TV guy, so um, I remember certain TV shows that have come and gone in the 80s after one season. So, in no particular order. All right, here we go. Does anybody remember this show, Voyagers? It aired on NBC for one season, the 82-83 season for 20 episodes. Time Travelers, uh, Phineas Bogg and Jeffrey um, with the Omni. So, and they made uh, they wanted to make history right. Uh, John Eric Hexham played, like, uh, Phineas Bogg. And if you followed his career, you know that it ended sadly. I'm not going to get into it right now, but, uh, yeah, he's no longer with us. So, anyways, yeah, Voyagers. Um, all right. Street Hawk. All right. This aired on ABC from January to May of 1985 for 14 episodes. Rex, Rex Smith um, with, like, uh, it's supposed to be the, the night Rider of uh, motorcycles. So this was a cool show, and I remember it. Um, the powers of Matthew Starr. Now, oh, that beer's like really getting to me. Um, this aired on NBC on eight, the 1982-83 season for 13 episodes. Alien comes to Earth, hiding out from like uh, from other aliens that want to find him. So, but it did not last long. But it was a cool show too. And here's an oldie but a goodie. This was Man from Atlantis. Um, it, uh, yeah. 
it aired on NBC in 1977, 1978 for 13 episodes. Uh, Patrick Duffy, way before, this was before Bobby Ewing on Dallas, before he played Bobby Ewing on Dallas. He's like a submersible kind of frog man, you know, working for uh, the Oceanic Institute, whatever. But it not didn't last long. But I remember these, these shows. So, and here we go with this one, Delta House. This was hmm, a spin-off of the movie Animal House. It, <coughs> excuse me. It aired uh, January to April 1979 on ABC for 13 episodes. But it did. Uh, it was canceled because it didn't have the same raunchy comedy as Animal House, so it, it didn't work. But as you can see, Dean Wormer, D Day, uh, and Flounder all make uh, and Hoover all make all make their TV appearances in there. So, all right, and then this one, as you can guess, Enos. This was a spin-off of the Dukes of Hazard. Enos solved a crime uh, in Hazard County, got promoted to the L.A. branch. Uh, it aired on uh, 1981, 80, 18 episodes on CBS on Wednesday nights. They didn't. Uh, it would have. I think this would have worked the second season if it was following it was before the Dukes, but. Anyways, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Enos returned to Hazard County after this was canceled. So, all right. So, anyways, we've got Misfits of Science. So, if anybody remembers this show, uh, this aired on NBC for 16 episodes in the 1985-86 season. If you look closely, that's Courtney Cox. Um, it's about a super-powered Misfits. Uh, Courtney Cox, this was way before Friends. So... All right. And if you remember this show, Auto Man, the complete series. This was a t this this I do definitely remember. It was a cool show. It aired on ABC, 13 episodes, 1983-84 season. Um, and yeah, so but it did not last long. So, and this one, The Phoenix. It aired March, April of 82 on ABC for five episodes. Judson Scott, uh, you may recognize him from uh, the Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Uh, cool show again, but it, you know, don't, don't network suck. And all, and this one too. Bring Him Back Alive, starring Bruce Boxleitner. It aired on CBS from 1982 to 83, 17 episodes. Um... But a big, he plays Frank Buck, a big uh, uh, game uh, hunter, trapper. So, yeah. Um, it, uh, all right. So basically, yeah, that was like all that. Mm, so, yeah. Mm, yeah, there are your top ten classic TV one-hit wonders there. So, um, all right, bam. Mm. All right. Oh, I think I need another drink of that. Mmm. 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 All right. <coughs> All right. Good uh, cigar here. It's Guantanamo Mara Habana Cuba from Riverfront Cigars. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. All right, got that. Mm. <coughs> so I'm just spraying the apartment down. Uh, air freshener there. I, I don't want the air, the, the, the apartment air, like a sweat sock. But yeah, ha ha habanero, or no, Guanatanamara, Habana, Cuba. Um, accompanying that is like uh, Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. All right, so mm. 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 our craft beer for tonight um, mm. it is called Hot Farmer, or no, Hot Farmer. It's a mango habanero ale by like the Stone Picker Brewing Company in Forest, Wyoming. I'm trying this beer for the very first time tonight. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. So let me just. Uh, all right. So I am. All right. There we. Go. All right. Mm. 
Mm. All right, so there we go. I'll just say hi. There we are. Um, anyways, uh, I do have their glass. Uh, there we go. Stone Picker Brewing Company. Um, this does. This is growing on me. I'm getting used to this beer. This could be a. This is a good summer beer. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna warn you guys. There may be a bathroom break in the near future here. So, anyways, yeah. Um. Hmm. It. Uh, this would go good with spicy food. Like, I mean, if you're, if you, uh, my cheek. Yeah. Can you see them? My my cheeks are. Yeah. So. Um. I'm trying to. Ah, yes. Hot, spicy chicken wings. This would go good with chicken wings. The, the spicy kind. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, whether it's a spring, summer, or fall beer, I know it's definitely a summer beer. Um, I do give this a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast. If you're still here and sticking around, feel free to throw out a number like uh, so many other people have done. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, I'll just, like, uh, top this up. Mm. All right. So, yes, it is called Hot Farmer uh, mm, Mango Habanero Ale. So, there we go. I'll set this back here. All right. So, mm, 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 all right. Mm, mm. <coughs> all right. So, let's see if I can do any more uh, messenger share. All right. Um... Mm. Mm. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, do, do, do. All right. There we are. All right. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 6.0, episode 300, Monday, September 2nd, 2024. Thank you for ending your last long weekend with me. Um, as we go into our top 10 Star Wars characters here. Um, all right, in no particular order. Oh, wow. Man. Woo-hoo. All right. So, okay. Oh, whew. It's getting hot in here. Ha <laughs> ha. I can breathe. That beer wants to make me breathe fire. Uh, my cheeks are red, aren't they? So, anyways, here we go. Uh, this one is called Dane Jeer. Now, he was an Imperial officer in Star Wars A New Hope, served aboard the uh, Star Destroyer Devastator. He told Vader, uh, holding her, uh, holding holding the princess is like a, a bad idea. It made Jar Garner sympathy for the rebellion, blah, blah, blah. So, um, and this one is uh, Commander Pragy. He is an Imperial officer, also served aboard the uh, Star Destroyer Devastator. He told Darth Vader... No, no plans were found in the station. However, a pod was jettisoned down to the planet Tatooine. Looks very serious. All right. This guy, were her, uh, Moss Eisley Cantina bartender, uh, Star Wars, A New Hope. Um, he basically told Luke that your droids aren't welcomed here. Their kind aren't welcome here. They should wait outside. Isn't he like, doesn't he have a friendly demeanor about him? I want him serving me my drinks. Um, here we go with like uh, mm, Admiral Ozzel. <laughs> Fleet Admiral appeared in Empire Strikes Back. Uh, made the mistake of coming out of light speed too early. Uh, too close to the system of Hoth. To the, to, alerted to the rebels. How does Vader react to him? Force chokes him. He dies. So never make a mistake. This one's from Star Trek 3 The Search for Spock. He's called Mr. Adventure. Um, he was basically stationed at a space station with Lieutenant Uhura, and he kept uh, running his mouth about uh, about how, oh, you're to, to Lieutenant Uhura, how your career's winding down. You should retire. I need some excitement, blah, blah, blah. And when Kirk and company showed up, Uhura locked him in a closet, so just to protect him. So, And here we go. We've got the Death Star scanning crew. BT-445, they were tasked to investigate and search the Millennium Falcon for any, like, uh, for any survivors, passengers, contraband. So it didn't quite work out for them. So, 
And here we go. We've got Commander Kane of Battlestar Galactica, the original Battlestar Galactica. He commandeered the Battlestar Pegasus. He was in the episodes Living Legend Part 1 and 2. Um, he wanted Adama to, Adama to fight the Cylons, get through to Gamora, steal their fuel and everything. His fate is still unknown as to this day. So, And here we go. We've got uh, Pelo Scrambaz. Uh, he, Lieutenant Pelo Scrambaz, he had quite a career in, in the Rebellion. Um... He was in Star Wars A New Hope. He was killed aboard the Tantine Five, defending it from the Star War from the Stormtroopers and Darth Vader. Um, all right, so we've got Bolvin. I mean, he is front. Okay, so this is a like. Uh, he served as gunnery captain aboard the Death Star. He did. He did not fire aboard the escape pod. So, and he thought, "Oh shit, I'm going to get any shit from Vader. Uh, he might force choke me." But no. He didn't, because it was the Empire's policy not to shoot on any um, un, unmanned uh, spacecraft. It'll waste your ammo. So, there we go. Um, lastly, we've got uh, General Veers. Using the Empire Strikes Back, General Maximilian Veers, uh, played by Julian Glover, um, model Imperial officer, and uh, he commanded the uh, Adat division. Um, he led the battle. Of, he led the uh, Battle of Hoth. Uh, I'm not sure about what what his fate was, but there we go. And there's like your uh, top ten um, um, side side characters of Star Wars and Battlestar Galactica. And so, all right. Mm, okay, there we go. All right. Bam. Mm. Longo Solo there. Mm. And uh, here we go. We've got uh, Cactus Jack here. Say hello, Cactus Jack. Hello. Big Jim Blogcast Live version 6.0 episode 200. Episode 300. All right. Well. All right. So there we go. We set him back there. Um. Mm. All right. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 6.0, episode 300. Um, all right. Okay. So. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Monday, September 2nd, 2024. Thank you for watching. Um, all right. So. Our craft beer for tonight. Accompanied by this great cigar, and accompanied craft beer, Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. All right, so. Mm. Mm. Oh. Um, we've got. Uh, it is called Hot Farmer. It's a mango habanero ale by Stone Picker Brewing Company out in Forest, Wyoming. I got their glass. I'm trying this beer for the very first time today. My cheeks are red, yes. Um, mm. This definitely goes good with wing night. Um, it's a punchy aftertaste to it, but it's growing on me. It's really, it's got that uh, spicy kick to it. Beer isn't supposed to be spicy, but I think Stone Picker came up, invented like, uh, are ahead of themselves here. Um, yeah, it's a good summer beer. Uh, it's a good like uh, wing night beer. Anything with with like really spicy hot chicken wings. Mm. Mm. All right. So and I do give this a rating out of ten later on in the blogcast. So if you're still here and sticking around, feel free to throw out a number. Um. Yeah. Wow. My cheeks are red. So. Mm. All right. So. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Bam. So yeah, and I, there might be a bathroom break. So. All right, boom. Mm. That beer is really spicy. Ah, hello. So, okay, and yeah, my my cheeks are red. So, but um, I'm enjoying that beer. So, yeah. All right. Mm. All right. So.
here we go. We're going to get into like, uh, uh, before we get into like uh, our uh, top 10, like uh, WCW, WWF, NWA, WA tag teams, wrestlers, and all that, I'm going to like uh, do the cube a second time tonight to get out of a big gym podcast live coffee mug holster. Try and get the white side on a few turns. And so, for those of you who don't know what this is, if you're under and if you grew up in the 80s, you'll know what this is. It's a legendary toy. Yeah, it's pretty self explanatory what you have to do. And so, but I'm not going for like greatness here. I'm just going for one side. So, here we go. All right. So, there we go. A couple of turns. Uh huh. All right. So, mm, okay. All right, so basically I got like a that. So there we go. I'm gonna put it back in its big Jim Blogcast Live coffee mug. Set it over here. Mm. And also, if you guys want to like call me up, um, big Jim Blogcast Live hotline one 8675309 on your rotary phone or your cell. Hey, congratulations on Blogcast 300. How's that beer? Toll free to call. There we go. So, all right. So, anyways, as we, like, uh, move on here, um, we've got, uh, hmm, all right. So, in no particular order, oh, man. Woo-hoo-wee! That is a hot beer. Hmm. Mm. All right. Mm. 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 <coughs> All right. So, okay. So, anyways, yeah, just spraying down the apartment. I did. All right. So. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. Mm. Oh yeah. So, anyways, we've got the Road Warriors, the Legion of Doom, along with Paul Ellering, Animal and Hawk. Um, they have since passed on, uh, but they were AWA champions, WCW champions, tag team champions, NWA champions, WWF tag team champions. They were brutal, vicious, and they were the best tag team ever. So, um, yeah. And this one, it's, we'll get to the Skyscrapers. Mm. Sid Vicious and Dan Spivey, managed by uh, Teddy Long. They Like, uh, the late Sid Vicious, more on him in the, uh, it, at the end of this. Um, yeah, they were in WCW. They were a really great kick-ass tag team. So, all right. And here we go. Um, We've got the Hollywood Blondes. Stunning Steve Austin before he became Stone Cold Steve Austin and the late Brian Pillman. Um, They were in WCW. They were an excellent tag team. But, unfortunately, they they split up. Um, It... uh, And we all know what happened to Steve Austin. Became stunning... Stone Cold Steve Austin. Brian Pillman unfortunately passed away. So, um, all right. <laughs> mm. We've got this tag team right here. Uh, the, ho- the the Dynamic Dudes. Uh, their gimmick was skateboarding, even, even though they did, never knew, didn't even know how to skateboard. It was Johnny Ace and uh, Shane Douglas. Uh, of course, Johnny Ace would go on to, like, uh, um, the uh, executive, be an executive vice president at uh, WWE for, uh, talent relations. Um, yeah, they uh, once the crowd caught on that they like did not escape board. They were booed mercilessly. Um, and we've got like a, um, a pro, re- like a legendary pro re- jobber, enhancement talent Barry Horowitz. Um, he spent his career in WCW, WWF, and WCW. Uh, an enhancement talent, a jobber, is someone like this guy who uh, wants, if you want to get your established superstar, if you want to get your wrestler superstar over, 
and this is the guy he gets in his moves, the guy the other guy gets in his moves. This guy makes other guys look good. So, and he should be definitely going into the WWE Hall of Fame. So, we've got another that I had the pleasure of meeting. This is the Brooklyn Brawler, Steve Lombardi. Now, he was the same thing. He was an enhancement talent jobber for the stars uh, in the WWF. Uh, it lasted for, he was released about maybe five or six years ago. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting him in 2019. He's a friend of the blogcast, actually. Um, it, I recorded a promo for the blogcast, and I got to talk to him and uh, go over his career. It was at uh, the Sarnia Pop Culture Show 2019. Really nice guy. So, all right. This, <laughs> oh my God. This is the Shockmaster um, in WCW. Um, this has to be watched to be seen and believed. He basically was like a uh, glittery stormtrooper helmet. He uh, he was a Sting's tag team. Well, he was going to be Sting's tag team partner, uh, but he came over and tripped on a on a board doing a promo. It's legendary. Look it up. Um, all right, this another one. Oh my God, this has to be seen to be believed too. The um, Red Rooster. That is Terry Taylor. Um, that was his gimmick in the WWF. He had to strut around like a rooster and use stupid rooster sayings. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it didn't last long. He was managed by Bobby the Brain Heenan. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, this also has to be seen to, to be believed because I felt sorry for this guy when I first saw him, when I first watched it. And I thought, fuck, why? <laughs> and, of course, we've got another bad gimmick here. Uh, the Renegade. And who does he look like to you? He's a he's WCW's dollar store version of the, the Ultimate Warrior. Um, sadly, the guy playing the Renegade, Steve Wilson, committed suicide. Um, it uh, He was brought out to look like the, the Ultimate Warrior, the mannerisms of the Ultimate Warrior, uh, but it didn't last long, so... All right. And we've got... Oh, yeah. All right, so... Mm, the Four Horsemen. Now, mm, we've got this legendary group right here. Ric Flair, the original Four Horsemen. Um, Arn Anderson, manager J.J. Dillon. Uh, Tully Blanchard and uh, Ole Anderson. And over the years, there have been many, many incarnations of the ultimate of the uh, Four Horsemen. Right there, you've got Barry Windham and uh, Sid Vicious joining them. Um... Right there, you've got Sting joining them. Right there, you have, like, again, there's Barry Windham, Ric Flair, Tully Blanchard, Arn Anderson, and J.J. Dillon. And uh, you've got Lex Luger joining them, too, for another version of that. So, all right. Legendary, like, uh, group there, stable faction. Um, and also, earlier this week, um, we had, like... Uh, Big Sid Vicious uh, pass away at the age of 63. So I'm going to do a 10 gong salute to him. Um, career highlights. He broke his leg actually in the ring. It was pretty gruesome, but this guy had like a deadly power bomb. So here we go with like a 10 gong salute to Sid Vicious. Yeah, so this guy was like, he, um, yeah, as you can see, he was like really terrifying, six, six, nine, 300 pounds, here's another, there we go, Sid Vicious, Sid Justice, uh, Psycho Sid, there we go, so yeah, um, and unfortunately he passed away this, earlier this week, uh, I think it was cancer, so, all right. So, anyways, yeah, we get to that. There, there's our like uh, top ten there. Um, bam. All right. All right. Mm, our craft beer for tonight. I got. Mm, this is Big Jim, Blogcast Live version 6.0 episode 300. We are at 300. Mm, as you can see, right there. 
All right, so anyways, hang on a minute. Mm, all right. Mm, yeah, all right, yeah, uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 6.0, episode 300, Monday, September 2nd, uh, 2024, the last Canadian long weekend of the summer, so, yeah, mm. Mm. <coughs> all right, mm. okay, so, yeah, let's move this up, uh, it's a, the cigar is a Habana Guanatanamera cigar, mm. accompanying that is, uh, uh, our Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. Okay, so. Mm. 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 All right. So, anyways, yes, the craft beer for tonight. It is mm. Hot Farmer Mango Habanero Ale, and I'll top it up. Mm. I've got their glass. It's by the Stone Picker Brewing Company in Forest, Wyoming. Um, Mm, I'm trying this beer for the very first time tonight. Mm. Mm. Ah, wow. It does, every time it goes down, it's got, it gives you a punch. Mm. It is a spicy beer. Um, it's a good summer beer. It's a good chicken wing night beer with like uh, the hottest chicken wings ever. This would go good with that actually. Um, I don't see it as a barbecue beer. I see it as a novelty special like, with chicken wings, you know, it's a good summer beer uh, with chicken wings. And I do give this a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. So if you're still here and sticking around, feel free to throw it a number. Plus, I will give my nine classic uh, craft beers um, of the past. So, mm, mm. all right. So, we set this back here. Mm. We move on. All right. So, mm, okay. Mm. 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 <coughs> All right. Time to spray this place down. All right. Bam. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. <coughs> so, all right. Where else can I... Mm, messenger... Mm. All right. Mm. All right. So, anyways, it is. Uh, all right. Mm. Okay. So, anyways, Larry, Gwen, uh, everybody else is watching. Thank you. As we get into like our uh, our classic bond, we've got. Um. Oh yeah. It's from the Book of Bond. We got, all right, the Essential Bond, uh, James Bond, 007. So, all right, we've got like we cover from uh, Sean Connery to Lazenby to Roger Moore to uh, Timothy Dalton to Pierce Brosnan. So here we go with like classic Bond. Um, this could be either like villains or Bond girls. So we've got. All right, so we've got Plenty O'Toole. Lionel Wood is Plenty O'Toole from Diamonds Are Forever starring Sean Connery. Um, so, mm, mm, uh, yeah, so, all right, there we go. Um, mm, and we've also got uh, from the Roger Moore, uh, James Bond movie, Octopussy, Kamal Khan, Louis Jordan, so, and uh, henchman of Octopussy. There we go. We've got the legendary actor Robert Davy. He plays Fran Sanchez in the Timothy Dalton James Bond movie License to Kill. He plays a drug drug lord. Um, there we go. Um, we've got. The Le Milton Crest, played by the legendary character actor Anthony Zerb in the movie License to Kill. He is a henchman of, uh, of Fran Sanchez. Uh, plays the role really well. All right. Uh, we have Jaws, <laughs> played by uh, Richard Kyle. 
He appeared in The Spy Who Loved Me and Moonraker, both uh, both Roger Moore films. So he is a henchman, a villain. Um, we've got uh, Gobinda from the James from the Roger Moore James Bond movie Octopussy. He is a henchman of Octopussy and Kamal Khan. Um, now we've got this is a both uh, okay. We've got uh, Max Zorin and Mayday. Max Zorin played by Christopher Walken and Mayday played by uh, Grace Jones, uh, both in the uh, in the Roger Moore last his last movie is Bond of You to a Kill. Um, uh, Zorin wa- is like an industrialist, like uh, wants to take over Silicon Valley. So there we go. Um, we've got like. Uh, Carl Stromberg from The Spy Who Loved Me. Uh, hmm. There we go. Villain. Um, hmm. And from the uh, the uh, Roger Moore movie, Golden Eye, Exena on a top. She is a henchwoman. She crushes her enemies to death with using her legs. Um, and we've got odd. Uh, Odd job, uh, played by like uh, Professor Turo Tanaka. Uh, he is like uh, Goldfinger. He appears in the movie Goldfinger. His hat. He throws his hat. Uh, his his hat is his weapon. So along with his like fighting skill there. So and uh, yeah. So there we go with our like uh, top ten Bond movies, Bond villains, and uh, Bond girls. So. All right. Mm. Mm. Okay. Boom. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. Guitars, uh, bongo solo there. That is it for like uh, our classic Bond from covering from Connery, George Lazenby, Roger Moore, Timothy Dalton, and uh, Pierce Brosnan. So, all right. So, anyways, yes, I got to there might be a bathroom break just before warning you guys. Mm. 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 <coughs> Good cigar. It's a Juana Tenamera Habana Cuban. So, mm. Mm. <coughs> mm. this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 6.0, episode 300, Monday, September 2nd, 2024. All right, boom. Mm. All right, so we just spray in this apartment down. Mm. Accompanying that cigar and my craft beer tonight is uh, Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. 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 All right. Mm. Mm. Okay. Our craft beer for tonight is called mm, Hot Farmer mm. by the Stone Picker Brewing Company in Forest, Wyoming, Ontario. They're way out there, but they're good. I think they've innovated a beer here. This could go, This beer uh, is a good... I'm trying this beer for the very first time tonight. Mm. Woo! Every time I try it, like like I said, there's like... Uh, mm. Okay. So, Mango Habanero Ale. You have to be... Um, yeah. So, it's a... Mm. Wow, it it go like this beer goes good with like uh, wing nights, spicy wing nights, any spicy food at all. You uh, you've got a death wish. You can try. You can pick up this beer. Well, I don't mean it that way, but like I mean, it's a good summer beer. I can't see this being a back deck or a patio beer. It's good with like uh, wing nights. So yeah, and it does pack a punch. Mm. As my face is getting red, as some people have commented. Mm. 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 All right. So we just put this back here. Like I said, I do give the ring a 10 later on the blogcast if you're still here and sticking around. Um, what do you think I'm going to give it? What do you think? What do you think? Like a 3 or a 4 or a 2, uh, 9, um, 10? Uh, don't know, but stick around. Mm. All right, so yeah. Mm. 
Mm. So, and like I said, there might be a bathroom break coming up. Mm. All right. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> like now. So if you'll excuse me. Okay, coming back, coming back into focus, here we are. All right, I'm back. Mm, okay, so yeah, my cheeks are still red. So, all right, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, uh, version 6.0, episode 300, Monday, September 2nd, 2024. It's the last Canadian long weekend. For anybody else watching outside of Canada, long weekends, um, it's the last Canadian long weekend of the summer. So, all right. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, anyways. Mm. All right. So, yeah. Um, mm. So, there we go. All right. So, I want to reiterate to everybody out there that Big Zip Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version will go out later on. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms for this year podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Podcast Live at YouTube.com. I want to give shouts out to people watching in the Port Elgin group, Sarnia group, like Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Michelle had her like uh, online auction, which I which Big Jim Podcast Live donated about five, seven beer glasses to it. Um, sporting Sarnia 2.0. Uh, chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro classic, vintage, nostalgia, yesteryear groups, all the classic rock, hair metal, hard rock, Van Halen groups, all the crap, beer, cigars, sci-fi, Star Trek, Star Wars, pro wrestling, blogs, by classic TV and movies, birthdays, bongos, Rubik's. All right, so yeah. Mm, okay. Mm, all right. Here we go. We've got our classic rock. Mm. Woo, baby. Mm. Mm. All right, I think I. All right. Mm. 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 <coughs> all right. So, give me a minute here. I'll be spraying this down. Mm. All right. So. Yeah. All right. So, anyways. Uh, mm. Woo. I think I, all right, so, Crown Royal Vanilla, mm. really helps in this situation, it balances that beer out, so, all right, so anyways, mm. we've got our, mm, our hair bands, uh, mm. we're going to give you some hair bands and classic guitar duos and classic albums here, so anyways, we've got Motley Crue. Now, um, they're still together, but I don't think Vince Neil can sing as well as he can. And uh, this is the original Motley Crue, Tommy Lee, Mick Mars, Nikki Six, Vince Neil. Um, mm, okay. Mm. And uh, Tommy Lee. So, um, doo -doo -doo. Mick Mars left the group, so there was... Okay, so... Mm. We've got One Hit Wonders Autograph. Turn up the radio. You remember that? They're no longer together. Uh, but Autograph still tours with like one or two original members. Um, we've got Poison. All right. So there we go. They're still together and touring. Um, we've got Quiet Riot. So late Kevin Dubrow. We've got Rudy Sarzo, the legendary Rudy Sarzo, the late Kevin Dubrow, Carlos Cavazzo, and the late Frankie Benali. Like, so, come on, feel the noise. All right. 
And we've got this band, Twisted Sister. They've retired from the road. Uh, we're not going to take it. All right. And we've got this band, um, Rat. They're no longer together. Um, but Stephen Piercy still tours. There we go. Uh, we move on to our classic guitar duos, Angus Young and Malcolm Young of ACDC. Um, we've got Joe Perry and Brad Whitford of Aerosmith. We've got, like, uh, K.K. Downing and uh, Glenn Tipton of uh, Judas Priest. Uh, sadly, K.K. Downing left Judas Priest and... Uh, Glenn Tipton, he is uh, joins Judas Priest out on tour occasionally. He suffers from like uh, Parkinson's disease, and so. But yeah, Priest are still together, and we've got this classic duo right here: Keith Richards and Ron Wood. Uh, what can you say about them that doesn't like that? That like, all right. So, anyways, yeah. Mm. And we've done. Like a lot of like uh, classic albums over the year, over the years here. Um. Mm. All right, so I'm going to show you what our, our my classic albums here. We've got Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. All right, so mm. okay, well we'll just set that down here. Um, Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, Night Moves, legendary album, classic album. Um, ooh, all right, so we've got, all right, one of these, Meatloaf, Bat Out of Hell. The, oh, yeah, so cool songs on here. You took the words right out of my mouth. Heaven Can Wait, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad, Paradise by the Dashboard Light. Um, yeah, classic album. So, all right, now we've got... All right, so, mm, mm, Def Leppard's Hysteria. There we go. Um, it uh, they went through a lot of shit to get this album done. So, classic album. You got like Pour Some Sugar on Me, Armageddon, It, Gods of War, uh, Hysteria, Excitable, Love and Affection. There we go. There's the back. So, all right. Mm. Also. This album, uh, ZZ Top Eliminator. There we are. And so it uh, it had legs. Give me all your loving. Got me under pressure. Sharp dressed man. Mm. So and there we yeah. And uh, so you ever get a chance to see this? Uh, pick it up. Classic album. This is the one that made ZZ Top into household names. So and going from that. Um, mm. <laughs> We've got KISS Dynasty, all right? So this is a pinnacle in their career. Um, this is some, some KISS fans like this album. Some KISS fans don't. Um, Charisma, Dirty Living, Hard Times, and the disco hit, I Was Made for Loving You, and the cover, 2000 Man. by It's the Rolling Stones cover of 2000 Man. Uh, Ace Freely sings it. So, all right. But yeah, like, I mean, check this album out. So, um, all right. And I saved the best for last. All right. Van Halen's 1984. Um, the last album with, like, David Lee Roth uh, before he returned to the band for A Different Kind of Truth. Um, there's the band on the uh, back cover there. Um, there you go. So, mm, mm. we've got, like, Jump, Panama, Top Jimmy, Drop Dead Legs, classic, classic album. So, there we are. All right. So, mm, mm, mm. Ooh. yeah, all right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. Got a Guantanamo, Guantanamera Habana Cigar. That's by uh, Riverfront Cigar that I brought back up. So, mm, mm, mm. <coughs> so anyways, yeah, um, this is Big Jim Plug. 
Ah, oh, yes, I know. Uh, board games, our classic board games. So, but yeah, I will get to that in a minute. Uh, I want to reiterate, uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio lists, all these audio podcasts where you listen to your podcast too. Um, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. I want to give shouts out to you watching the Port, Port Elgin group, Sarnia groups, uh, Sarnia Rocks, Michelle, you guys rock. Um, you're, uh, yeah, um, Sporting Sarnia 2.0, Chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro, vintage, classic, nostalgia, yesteryear groups, all the classic rock, hair metal, hard rock, Van Halen groups, all the craft beer, cigars, sci fi, Star Wars, Star Trek, pro wrestling, blog groups, all the classic TV and movie groups, the birthdays, bongos, Rubik's. Um, so, yeah. Um, it is uh, Big Jim Podcast Live, version 6.0, episode 300. Monday, September 2nd, 2024. Last Canadian long weekend of the summer. And thank you for ending it with me. And so, all right. So, yeah, I'll just spray this down a little bit. Okay. So, all right. So, all right. It, uh, mm, mm. before we get to our, our, uh, our board games, I want to, for the third time tonight, um, I'm going to reach back here. Uh, do the cube thing now. Put it out of its big Jim Blogcast Live coffee mug. Um, I'm doing the color white tonight. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is like a classic toy from the '80s. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory what you have to do. You got to align all nine sides with the, all the right colors. Um, I'm going to just do white tonight. So, boom! Here we go. Ah, there we go. Turn, turn. Um, mm. All right, so anyways, um, okay, so that is, all right, so, uh, 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 so, sorry, but that's all I got, so I'll just do that one more time, I'm going to do it one more time before we go off, so there we go, let's put it back here, Mm. all right, bam, Mm. Mm. we're all about, Okay, so mm. my craft beer for tonight, accompanied by a good cigar. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Oh. Mm. <laughs> craft beer accompanied tonight by this cigar. Accompanying that craft beer is like uh, Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. 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 Nice craft beer. It is called uh, mm. Hot Farmer. It is a mango habanero ale. I'm going to top it up. Mm. Thereby. All right. So there we go. It, uh, it's by the Stone Picker. I got their glass too. They're by the Stone Picker Brewing Company in Forest, Wyoming. So they're they're a great uh, little brewery out there. So I'm trying this for the very first time today. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh yeah. So it is very. It's a spicy beer. It's a good summer beer. It go, it goes good with wing nights. Every time I take a snort of it, it. Uh, wow. I think. I think. In a way, you guys over at Stone Picker, and anybody can share this broadcast with Stone Picker, maybe they're watching. I think you guys have made an innovative beer here. So I'll give you that. I'll give you points for like uh, the, being innovative and putting like habanero, mango, mixing it with habanero, mango habanero. So yeah, it's a good wing night, uh, hot, I mean spicy, oh yeah. Mm. Mm. And my cheeks are red. So, yeah, um, and I do give this a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast. If you're still here and sticking around, feel free to throw in a number. Um, all right, and uh, Darren, I see you've just joined us. Like, uh, you know, so there we go. Stone Picker uh, Hot Farmer Mango Habanero Ale by Stone Picker Brewing in Forest, uh, Wyoming, Ontario. So, yeah, we'll just put this back here. Mmm. Mmm. Gut punch. All right. So, 
Mm, okay. As we get into our, like, uh, board games. Uh, now, I, I'm a thrift guy. I go to Value Village. I go to, like, uh, uh, Goodwill. And sometimes I find these, like, great little board games from yesteryear, which I haven't, from years and years ago, which I haven't uh, really, like, uh, um, mm. Woo. All right. Oh, bongo. Bongo. Oh. All right. Um, sometimes I find these board games I haven't seen in years, so here we go. Um, it's the Happy Days uh, game. You know, the, the TV show. Uh, mm. Fonzie's real cool game. So there we go. There's, I'll just place that down here. Hmm. All right. Also, we've got the Hoth Ice Planet Adventure game. So it's pretty self-explanatory what you have to do here. Um, so yeah, I picked this up in like uh, Goodwill. So um, and we've got also Star Wars Double Header here. How many of you guys remember this? It's Escape from the Death Star game. So, all right. So, yeah. And also, we've got a classic here. Um, Operation. Dee, dee. This is a good drinking game, whether you realize it or not. Um, you got to, like, uh, yeah. So, Operation. There we are. There's our, like, classic uh, board games. All right. So, yeah. Mm. All right. So, mm. okay. We are rolling along here nicely. So, mm. 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 <laughs> and yep, as some people have pointed out tonight, my cheeks are red from that beer. So, all right. Um, okay. So as we get to our my most favorite time in the in the blogcast here, we've got. Um, hmm, oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, that really sticks with you. We've got, uh, and uh, it is, of course, as you might have guessed. Blogcast 300 tonight. All right. It, uh, and that wouldn't be possible without all of you. So, all right. So here we go with... All right. My most favorite time in the blogcast is called This Week in Van Halen History. And we cover August 26th to September 1st. So, all right. There are all versions of, the, of Van Halen right there. August 26, 1995, Van Halen plays the Meadowlands in Hartford, Connecticut. August 26, 2012, Sammy Hager attends Vegas Rocks Magazine Awards at the Joint in Las Vegas, Nevada. August 27, 1986, Van Halen plays Veterans Memorial Coliseum in New Haven, Connecticut, where this was filmed. Mm. 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 Where this was filmed, Live Without a Net. Um... Okay. August 27, 1994, David Lee Roth plays the Agora Theater in Cleveland, Ohio. August 28, 1980, Van Halen plays the Coliseum in Houston, Texas. August 28, 2015, Sam Hayer joins Joe Satriani in his studio to record Chicken Foot. Uh, August 29, 1978, Van Halen plays the Spectrum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. August 29, 1998, Van Halen plays the uh, Meadowlands in Hartford, Connecticut. August 30th, 1986, David Lee uh, the, this out this cassette, all right, begins a two-week peak at number four of the Billboard album charts with "Eat 'Em and Smile." There you go. Um, August thirtieth, nineteen eighty-six, David Lee Roth plays the Coliseum in Wichita, Kansas. August thirty-first, nineteen ninety-six, Edward Van Halen spends the day with Jason Becker and his family at a home in California. August thirty-first, nineteen seventy-eight, Sammy Hager opens for. Sticks at Broome County Veterans Memorial Arena in Bing Binghampton, New York. Um, September 1st, 1991, Van Halen plays the World Music Theater in Tinley Park, Illinois. And that is all 
Mm. For this week in Van Halen history. There you go. So, all right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. It is broadcast 300 tonight, as you may have guessed. So, all right. Mm. Okay. <coughs> oh, boy. Um, mm. All right. So the time has come mm. for me to give my final thoughts on this beer. Mm. All right. So. Mm. Mm. All right. Where did that? Oh, God. Huh. Accompanying this beer, uh, a good. St I've got brought back up here another one. So, all right. So, anyways, it's a hip Guatem Guanatamera Habana Cuban cigar, and uh, accompanying that is our Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. So, mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. all right. So we have. Mm. I've got their glass here. It's called Hot Farmer. It's a mango habanero ale uh, by the Stone Picker Brewing Company in Forest, Wyoming, Ontario. Now, my final thoughts on this beer. Well, let me top that up a little bit. Um, this is a very hot beer. Um, I think that, in a way, Stone Picker Brewing has innovated the, the, the their beers, the, this particular beer here. This is a summer beer. It's only good with like uh, chicken wing night, with the spiciest chicken wings, or any other spicy food that you can you, you can like uh, imagine up. So, mm. Mm. I do give them points on being innovative. This is a gut punch beer. It, uh, yeah, like I said, good summer beer, good chicken wing night beer. Um, you, oh, oh yeah, and my cheeks are still red. So, mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, so let's see. Um, mmm, hot farmer. Mmm, okay. Well, let's see. I've thought long and hard about this all through the broadcast. So I am just scrolling through these numbers here. Um, mmm. All right, so I found an appropriate number, which I think is going to like uh, seven, seven out of ten. All right, so yeah, let me type that in. Um, all right, so all right, all right, so yeah, there we go. Seven out of ten, you guys. Um, mm, all right, so anyway, uh, yeah, seven out of ten for um, hot farmer mango. Habanero Ale, um, really, wow, I think you guys have, like, really innovated yourselves, um, uh, you guys have, like, uh, um, oh, yeah, so, mm. Ty, I see you've just joined us, um, for the 300th broadcast, I just gave this beer a 7 out of 10, and, uh, it's, yeah, it's a very spicy beer, my cheeks are still red, so this is a good summertime beer, a uh, good wing night beer, with the hottest, most spiciest wings of all. This will go good with that. Mm. Mm. All right, so I'll just put this back here. Um, mm. All right, so anyways, now before I get to my top nine classic craft beers, I a lot of you have been asking me for like t-shirts and shirts. Um, um, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So anyways, if you want to design like mine, a t-shirt like mine, uh, baseball jersey, tank top, any design, they are $35, but including shipping and handling. Um, you send me an email, email e-transfer or money order, and I'll do my best to get that out to you on my on my blogcast page or my regular Facebook page, and they take four to six weeks for delivery. Now, so there's a lot of few people, I have a few people out there that like have like uh, gotten these t-shirts and have enjoyed them. You want the classic design, you want uh, plain white tank top. Yeah, they're all you have to do, inbox me, direct message me, 
and uh, you know, just say, "Hey, Jim, I'd, I'd, I'd like this T-shirt. Thirty-five dollars shipping and handling included, and uh, e-transfer, e-money order, and I'll do my best to get that out to you." So you're like, "All right." So I'll go get these beers here. So all right. All right, so I thought long and hard about this. All right, we've got our, like, uh, all right, there we go. We bet you don't know that. All right, so anyways, mm, we've got, all right, so uh, Oxidation Amber Ale um, by the Rusty Wrench Brewery Company in Strathroy. I gave this a 9 out of 10 on episode uh, two two. 227 Sunday July 20th 24 2022 Rusty Wrench Strathroy and I'd like to thank uh, a special young lady for going out there uh, to Rusty Wrench for me Marie thanks a lot I know you're probably not watching but hey um, there we go um, we've got uh, Killarney mm. all right we'll just set this over here um, Killarney Cream Ale uh, episode 292, uh, I gave this like a 9 out of 10. Um, Friday, like a, mm, the Manitoulin Brewing Company in Manitoulin Island. Um, all right. So, also, we've got um, Goodbye Gravity Imperial City Cream Ale. Oh, God, this is a classic. This is a really good beer. Um, let's see. Um, okay. Yeah, I gave this a 9 out of 10 on episode 18. Uh, 118. Really good beer. Um, also, mm, Stone Picker. Hack and Slash IPA. Mm. I gave this a 9 out of 10 on episode 133. Stone Picker by the Forest by... by like uh, Hack and Slash by Stone Picker Brewing Company in uh, Wyoming and Forest, Ontario. Um, all right, so we got more here. Um, again, Stone Picker makes this list twice with like Tractor on the Wall Stout. Um, I gave this a 9 out of 10 on episode 162. Um, all right, so Black Gold Brewery in Petrolia, Ontario. This is called Three Blondes and a Brewer. Um, I gave this a 9 out of 10 on episode 177, way back in 2021. 20, um, oh yeah, and here's Whistle Stop uh, by Railway City. I gave this a 7 out of 10, really good beer. It's a hazy pale ale. They're by Railway City in St. Thomas. Um, all right, and... Here we go with, like, again, Black Gold makes this list twice. Um, this is mm, Liquid Gold Cream Ale um, mm, by the Black Gold Brewery Petroleum Ontario. 9 out of 10 on Blogcast 166. And last but not least, uh, I couldn't find this one. All right. Mm, Monty's. Aged Rye Ale by the Old Tomorrow Brewing Company in uh, Toronto, Ontario. I gave uh, this is perfect. I couldn't find this anywhere in Sarnia. I used to find it at the liquor store and at Superstore, but they discontinued it. I don't know why, but this is an excellent beer, Monty's Rye Aged Ale. Um, I gave it like uh, um, a 10 out of 10, um, episode 98, October 27, 2019. So. Yeah, fuck. This is a good beer. So, all right. So, anyways, yeah. Okay, so we got all that uh, finished up and done. All right. So, I'll just put these back in the... Uh, all right. Got to keep them cold. You got to keep them cold. And so, all right. And so, anyways, yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. 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 All right, so yeah, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version six point zero episode three hundred, uh, Monday September second, twenty twenty four. 
Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. Elena, I see you you've just joined us. Thank you. For episode 300. Mm. <coughs> All right. So anyways, yeah. Um now before we get to our like uh classic our, our, our inspirational motivational quote of the night um, I'm going to say that like Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam the audio version will go out later on Spotify YouTube or Spotify and all these audio listening platforms which are podcast too plus my own YouTube channel Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com I want to give shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups especially Sarnia Rocks who supports the, the blogcast Michelle you guys rock um at uh, supporting starting at 2.0, uh, all like the like uh, chain reaction, all the pop culture, retro, classic, vintage, nostalgia, yesteryear groups, all the classic rock, hair metal, hard rock, Van Halen groups, all the craft beer, cigars, sci-fi, Star Wars, Star Trek, pro wrestling, blog, blog, classic TV and movies, birthdays, bongos, and Rubik's. Got to say that uh, if you like the blogcast, uh, tune us in. All right, so 1-800-867-5309. Call me up saying congratulations on 300, and I like that beer. So it's toll free to call. There you go. Use your rotary phone or your cell. All right, so anyways. And also, for the fourth and final time tonight, I'm going to like uh, try and get the uh, a white, complete white side. I'll take this. This is a Rubik's Cube. I'll take it out of a Big Jim Blogcast Live coffee mug. Um, it... Uh, so here we go. I'm gonna like uh, this is a legendary toy from the '80s. If you don't know what this is, Google it. So for those of you who are under 30 or under 40, so I'm gonna get uh, like try and get the white side all white on like uh, three turn on a couple of turns here. All right, here we go. Bam. Um, Yeah. Couldn't quite do it. That's how it ended up. There we go. Just put it back right there. So, all right. So, there we go. Bam. Mm. My inspirational, motivational quote tonight. Uh, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts by Winston Churchill. So, I'll say that again. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts by Winston Churchill. All right. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So yeah. Mm. Mm. So what? Uh, what have you here? So we gave like the the beer a seven out of ten tonight. Um, I think. Yeah, I do really do think. Um, it uh, it's a good spicy beer. It's called Hot Farmer. Uh, mango habanero ale. Mm, mm. It's a gut punch. It's a gut punch. Mm, all right. Yes, seven out of ten. Hot Farmer Mango Habanero Ale by Stone Picker Brewing Company in Forest, Wyoming. Um, so yeah. So <laughs> all right. So I'll just set this back here. Um, again, thank you everybody for watching uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live. Mm. All right, so there we go. Mm, okay, so we spraying this apartment down. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right, so yeah. Mm. All right, people. Mm. All right, so that's it for me. Uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 6.0, episode 300, Monday, September 2nd, 2024. Our birthday shout-outs, um, like, we did, did number, like, our hot farmer, ham, mango, having an ARL by Stone Picker Brewing Company in Forest, Wyoming, Ontario, 7 out of 10. Birthday shout-outs, Vicky Galvinas, Brina Johnstone, Terry Cooper, Adelka Mulkin, Troy Milton, Sherry Darcy, Brett Bridges, George A. Luce, Corona, Lauren Drury, Ronnie Foster, Courtney Campbell, Ryan Royce, Tanya Marie, Bruce Underhill, Allison Patchett, Travis Chappell, Jen Moore, Tara Lee, Jeff Smith, Rosella Carr, 
the countdowns, local events, our top ten classic movies, um, top ten TV, top ten Star Wars, Battlestar Galactica side characters, top ten uh, pro wrestlers, top ten Bond, 007, classic henchman, and Bond girl, our top ten classic albums and bands, our board games, this week in Van Halen history, our crack, top nine classic craft beers, Success is not final, failure is not fatal. We encourage you to continue to count by Winston Churchill. Once again, um, this blogcast is not spam. The audio version will go later tonight on all these audio listening platforms which you podcast to. Plus, play on YouTube channel, Big Jim's Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. Uh, we'll be shout out to watching the Cornell, the Sarnia groups, Sarnia Rock, Sarnia, Sarnia 2.0, Pop Culture, Retro Classic, Vintage of Salvi, Yesteryear groups. All that classic rock, hair metal, hard rock, band, hailing groups, craft beer, cigars, sci fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, blogs, black hat, TV, and movie, birthday, condos, ribbons. Don't know if you'll see me next weekend. Um, but thank you. Blogcast 300, right on. Never thought I'd get here, uh, but I owe it all to you guys out there to keep, keep watching. So, right on. So, for Big Jim, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live. There's a six point up to 300. Maybe September 2nd, 2024. Thank you for ending your last Canadian long weekend with me. So cheers, everybody. And, uh, yeah, so, all right. So cheers, and you may or may not see me next weekend. So, yeah, so, anyways, cheers, everybody, and uh, be good.